better get out. Me and Jake are starting from the road this morning just so we can get up above all this public ground. We're surrounded by private at the moment, but not very much of it. The buffer of private land to public land is real thin. Instead of diving down in those thick green woods where we can't hear much, we just decided we'd stay out here on the road here at first light and try to pin some birds and then go in after them. Hear that one? That one's closer. He's about right there in that back corner. Mm -hmm. That one's, those two are not that far. You ready to gom? Mm. We're gonna have to walk a long way. Mm. Which is normally the case. Oh man, there's nobody here. What do you know? Well, let's go turkey hunting, Jake. Ready? two or three longbeards goblin here in one group right next to us so we're gonna have to back out and around them here Sure oh, just ready to go to the next spot. It's a little after lunch right now and it's warmed up finally. This morning it was in the low 40s and then eventually in the low 50s, but it was just cold and damp. They gobbled good on the roost, but then they just didn't say much. I talked to Greg and Ted. They were down the road too and they said they heard eight or nine birds gobble on the roost and then didn't hear another turkey gobble until almost noon feel like they'll probably be out doing their thing this afternoon, strutting and gobbling and whatnot. So hopefully we can find a lonely one here. What is that? I think it's three hens. Ah, uh, one on the right might be a Jake. No gobblers. That don't mean it ain't far. We're gonna have to run them off that field to get back there where we wanna go, unfortunately. Gobble, right there, wasn't it? Down that field. I think we ought to get that timber to the right there of them. Otherwise, it's pretty open on the way down in there. He just answered the clucking, so he's probably alone. He answered pretty much immediately. I think we stand a better chance in the timber than in this field anyway. Yeah, I agree. There's a big field down here. It sounds like he answered down on the bottom side of it. I always try to let Aaron walk for a little bit at least. And then I'm listening while he's moving because I don't think he'd hear that turkey if he was moving and vice versa. If he stops up there, I'll start walking. That way, if he were to be coming, we'd hear it. See, he's stopped now.
Can't believe you won't gobble at that or the owl. You see him? I did. I don't anymore, do you? No. I've never done that. It's just right down there. If this tree wouldn't have been down, we would have just kept on going. I don't know if he would have ever gobbled either. I he might not have. I don't think he might have. I mean, he didn't spook real hard. He just trotted off, didn't he? We haven't called for a while. We moved up quite a ways from where we last called, but still not ideal. Sound like a turkey just gobbled back in there quite a ways. Yeah. Definitely in the bottom on public, though. Mm -hmm. There he did. There he was. I don't know exactly where he was. You sure he wasn't across? I thought it was that way, but I guess we can just listen for a second. Yeah. We right along the river. Probably be careful along the way, though, because there's likely to be turkeys before them. Careful in here. These woods are wide open. Turkeys were cold this morning, but they're hot this afternoon. There's one on one met his match. Pretty fresh tracks back in here too. I don't think it was terribly far, was it? I'm gonna get up there and see if he'll answer. Yeah. We just had a bird gobble. Jake and I have been easing up through this river bottom. It's so wide open, so we're trying to be really, really careful. So you can see two, three hundred yards, and in these, in these really big, flat river bottoms, sound does not travel very far. So, especially when there's vegetation. Like yeah, this. it's got a lot of vegetation in here to suck up that sound. You know, a bird could gobble at three hundred yards, barely out of sight in this open river bottom, and you barely hear him. But we were just easing up here real quiet and we heard one gobble right down the river here so i'm gonna try to get up here another 15 20 yards and call to him and then we'll if he answers we'll try to make a setup right in here a good spot right here to kill one We just sit down for a little bit, you think? Call out one more time. I'm almost positive I can hear it. I think so too, but I think it's probably a ways off, but I think we should just sit down for a little bit. I don't think there's any way that turkey that gobbled didn't hear that calling. About 75% sure I can hear drumming. Me too. Get up there where that sound can carry a little bit better. I'm worried if we get down in one of these holes, we ain't gonna be able to hear nothing. I think we can get up there to start, and if we realize he's coming, we can back off if we got time. Ain't that far. No. I, I'm not so sure that they can hear this. You think they can or can't? I don't think they can. I don't think so either. They have an answer. They can hear it. I don't feel I think like they're if, answering you at all. No. I think if we go back in there, maybe we'll have just enough of this thick stuff where we can move up a hundred yards or so. Mm -hmm. Gobble them like they're alone. They just haven't answered me yet. I mean, there's turkey tracks right here. Yeah. This is where we always hear them roost, or I have the last two uh, years. Yeah, I mean, maybe it pays just to sit. I don't know. I think we can move up a little bit. We'll still be between them and here.
he gobbled that I time. I think they answered that time, maybe. I had to call as loud as I possibly could on that thing for an answer. It opens up a lot of Yeah, I know. I can see that. That's why I'm getting nervous about moving much. Oh, yeah. yeah I can hear that. They're coming. set up. He heard that loud and clear, buddy. Definitely don't want to get any closer. Maybe that big oak over there. Yeah, I like that. That's got a little tree off the side of it. I think they'll come right up this deer trail because they heard us loud yeah. and clear right there. It's got a bunch of underbrush around it too in front of it. I know for sure they heard me at least two or three times right there loud on that thing. And they are gobbling like they're alone. They're gobbling like they're alone and they've heard hens up here a bunch before, so it would make sense for them to come up in here. It may take them a while, but they're on our side of the creek. There ain't nothing between us but open river bottom, as far as I know. The last few gobbles he was facing right at us. As they say, he's hammering. Fire, boy. He's breathing fire, boy. He's definitely not getting quieter. Mm -mm. He's trying to get us to go to him for sure. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to lay off of him. He knows we're here. Mm -hmm. We've got him fired up. This turkey's standing out there gobbling. I think he's coming. I think he will at some point. And he's definitely, like I said, he's definitely not getting further. I think no, he, he ain't close. getting. He ain't getting further. We called to him. Oh yeah, he's coming for sure. We called to him real aggressively at first. Not for very long though. I was Jake yelping, him yelping, cutting real loud for about 30 seconds, just answering, going back and forth with him. And I've completely shut up now for 15 minutes. We struck him at five, and it's 5.23 right now. And I think he's on the move right now. Hopefully he's coming to us. But a lot of times on a turkey like this that you get real hot, if you shut it down completely on them, they will come in here looking for you. It may take him 30 minutes. It may take him an hour, but he is coming. Come on up here, big boy. You think he's a dandy? Yep. When he shows up, he's going to be looking for the slightest movement. I'm acting like I know exactly what's going to happen. And in reality, I have no idea. <laughs> he's probably going to turn around here quick at some point. Yeah, he's probably not going to come in. Or just need to stop gobbling all of a sudden. Oh, big boy, I love this turkey hunt, man. Golly, I love this. <laughs>
Get out of here. Are you talking about a turkey hunt? Oh, that last guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> talk, talk about wearing the two guys out. Yeah. <laughs> I clocked myself good. I didn't have I didn't even have my left hand on the gun because he was moving so far right. Ted and I were just picking on you about how you do that every time yesterday. Every time. Every time just clocked myself with it. But he I'll swung take hard it. on us to the He right. did. He swerved us bad at the last second. We had to pour it on that thing, dude. Yes. <laughs> Slow playing him. Six o'clock. Took him an hour. Hour from maybe three hundred yards? Good grief. Took him an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Did you yeah, see that like, chicken as he was coming in? Yes. <laughs> that last guy was sick. Probably 25, 30 yard shot, but through all kind of brush. <laughs> Was, was all that stuff right in front I, of you. I, I had a ton of brush. You had a move right at the end, I saw. Yeah. Which tree were we by? That oh, big that's one. Big one. That great, the biggest oak in here that we could find. And all this underbrush here. We could only see his head for the most part. That was probably one of the most fun ones of the year for me. That was, the, that was one of the <laughs> funnest ones of the year for me, for sure. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They're all they're all the greatest turkey hunt ever. <laughs> you wouldn't even kill one. <laughs> Me and Jake came in here. We boogered one right up next to the road. I was all pissed off and throwing a fit. <laughs> we got all the way back down in here and got in this real pretty bottom. And we could hear these turkeys gobbling way down in here. But we, we started snaking up through this river bottom. It's so open. And it's flat, so the sound does not carry very far. It's like the birds can see you about as far as you can hear them. Yeah. We were just the whole time, we were thinking about setting up and just sitting for a while and doing some calling because it's pretty. There's turkey tracks everywhere. You know they want to be in here, but it's like, man, they're going to come to 100 yards and stand there if, if they hear us calling. Or they're going to bust us at 80 way before we get a shot. We finally got over here to the edge of this creek. And there's a very, very subtle change. You can actually see it on Onyx. You can see the elevation difference right next to the river. I don't know what it is. It's like a little berm or something right mm -hmm. next to the river that's 30, 40 yards wide. And it's got this stuff in it that I shot through. Big old fan. <laughs> it's got those white tail feathers in the middle. Mm -hmm. Barring. Come on, turkey. <laughs> Look at there. Double spur in. No. Does he got a double spur? No, he just got big old hook spurs on it. <laughs> he was right over that berm, 100 yards. Pow! Pow! And we had been giving him the silent treatment for about 30 minutes. And Jake whispered over to me. He's like, you may have to call at him one more time. And I got on him pretty hard because there's a berm right there. Like, he can't see. He's got to come up on this flat to see where the source that sounds coming from and you threw those jake yelps in there too yeah. i think that's important too so he doesn't think it's just a lone hen down here that should come to him he thinks right. there's male birds down in here maybe and i was trying to answer him i don't mm -hmm. know if that helps or not but a lot of times when they're gobbling real hard like that they're they're trying to get the attention of another turkey so mm -hmm. rather than calling try to get him to gobble because he's gobbling so much i'd rather him gobble and then i answer him with a pop, 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 mm -hmm. pop, pop, pop. And then he'll crawl back all over it again, you know. Yeah, for a while there he was gobbling so much where it was hard to tell if he was even answering you just because, like, on his own he was gobbling every five, ten seconds. It's just crazy to think this thing an hour ago was 400 yards away down in that river bottom. <laughs> yeah. Wide open river bottom. Mm -hmm. Gobbling. And he came to the exact spot. This is the deer trail mm -hmm. that we were calling from earlier. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, it's funny how he, he was coming from this way, then he got to this deer trail and started to head down it because he had an open place to walk. He, he does have a big man. <laughs> he does. He's a big turkey. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's a real big turkey. Him out with him. Oh my. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> they grow them big in Iowa. My goodness, that's a big one. Heavy turkey. You want to show them where this elevation change is? Yeah, I might get the other camera for that. All right. We got river, we got this open bottom that the turkey was in down in Goblin. 
this slough he came right through here and you can see where it rises up and all the vegetation kind of changes up there that's where we were set up we killed him right up there well let's pack him let's pack him out of here and try to strike one on the way out yeah it's gonna be a long walk <laughs> and it's the heaviest turkey one it's the heaviest turkey i picked up this spring me too Ooh, oh, hey, maybe we ain't gonna be walking. There's the two. Yeah, we get up the river to him a little let's, maybe. Uh, let's go try to kill another turkey real quick. Be back with you in a minute. Oh, that's what's up. It's gonna be pretty good for me. Maybe you. It'd be nice to me. Oh, 